So this is the incline pec fly. So first of all, what I'm doing is I'm activating my lats. So my shoulders are back and down. That's the first part of the movement. I'm squeezing the dumbbell nice and tight. I've got a slight bend in my elbows. My actual, once I activate my lats, my belly will come up and make an arch in my back. I'm then pushing my belly button in, activating my core, having a nice stable platform to lift from. So then I'm coming down, elbows are slightly bent, and back up again. I'm not going all the way, I'm just going within my range of motion. So a couple of things I see going wrong with this movement is the weights being too heavy and I need them to bend the elbows to be able to get a lift, lift the weight up. The second thing I see is the lats not being activated and the shoulders rolled forward. So you're making it into a shoulder movement rather than a chest movement, but that's gonna cause a lot of injuries, which isn't good because once you, once you lose this activation of the, the shoulders back and down, you can create shoulder impingement and injuries. I know I've been there, it's not good. So you wanna be activating your shoulders back and down throughout the whole movement, keeping your rhomboid squeeze together, keeping your shoulder blades squeeze together and keeping your lats activated. So another couple of things I see go wrong is wrists being bent back while you're doing the movement. That's not good. Wrists want to be nice and level. Again, too much weight for the chest to be able to move and needing to bounce the weight up. So you can see I'm using momentum, I'm bending my whole body rather than lifting the weight with my chest muscles. So what I want to be doing is having that stable platform slowly, two seconds up, two seconds down. So it's quite easy to create some damage within the chest and the shoulders by doing this and having a bounce. So we want to make sure everything's nice and sturdy, everything's nice and tight, so you're not going to damage any of the muscles in the chest or the shoulders with this movement. So that's the fly movement using dumbbells. You can do it incline, you can do it flat, it's up to you depending on what's on your plan. If you need any help from a PT, feel free to ask one of them on the gym floor. They'll be happy to take you through any movements.